DJI, the leader in drones and camera and gimbal technology, has officially entered a different market. And it's not in the air, it's on the ground. I'm gonna show you what this product is and where I think it can go in the future. Let's go. G'day friends, if you've watched any of my videos previously, you know I'm a fan of DJI technology and drones. My name is Brett and I'm a real estate photographer and I've been using DJI products for the last eight or nine years. But DJI are onto something new and it's official. They have officially entered the e-bike market and have teamed up with a company called Amflow to release an e-mountain bike or an EMTB. This is a brand new e-bike incubated by DJI themselves. And at the heart of Amflow's PL is DJI's new cutting edge drive system. The Amflow PL features an ultralight carbon fiber frame, which has been designed for maximum agility and performance on any terrain. But the real star of the show is what's inside it. Powering this piece of a bike is DJI's own Avanox drive system. This of course leverages DJI's long history and skill in software, battery and motor development. And the Avanox system combines torque, battery capacity, a two inch OLED touchscreen, and smart controls all in one powerful package. But what's cool about this bike is the motor produces 850 watts of peak power in standard mode and 1000 watts of peak power in boost mode with torque reaching up to 120 Newton meters in boost mode as well. So what do these numbers actually mean? Well, most EMTBs range from the 250 watt to 750 watt range in power. So the DJI bike is up there in power. DJI themselves say the Avanox motor uses high performance polymer gears inside its compound planetary gear set. And not just powerful and light, the Avanox also promises a remarkably quiet ride. The 600 watt hour battery weighs just 2.9 kilograms, making the entire bike 19.2 kilograms, or 42 pounds, which is quite heavy for a standard mountain bike, but very light for an EMTB. And for those who want more range, there's an 800 watt hour battery option as well. But when it comes to battery technology, DJI are definitely leaders in this space because the 500 watt charger can charge the battery from zero to 75% in just 1.5 hours. But what I like most about this e-bike is the auto mode system because whether you're on rocky trails or a smooth path, the Avanox system actually adapts to its terrain. It actually adjusts in real time based on surface conditions and also rider position. Designed for long range use, auto mode uses multi-sensor functions to automatically and continuously adjust assistance based on riding resistance. And DJ Auto also promises a longer range than just running trail or turbo, but it still will give you that powerful pedal assist when you need it. Also, when you wanna go full power, there's an additional boost mode. And what that does is it pushes output to the Avanox's 850 watt motor for a few seconds. And it's at the push of a button. It's like your own personal turbo boost. <laughs> and here's a direct statement from Peter Archer, who's Amflow's senior product specialist. As engineers with a passion for mountain biking, we've seen a lot of tech innovation that has never found its way into the EMTB scene. We've married our tech expertise with our passion, and today we're introducing Amflow to the mountain bike community. With our very first product, the Amflow PL, we believe this is a significant movement for the EMTB industry with innovative technology and ultralight material combining to turn any terrain into a wonderland of possibilities for the EMTB rider. So let's talk about the control center of this thing, which is the two inch OLED touchscreen. You can just install the Avanox app and you can connect your smartphone to it. You can access bike security, you can access data recording and sharing. You can get real time status updates and you also have options for parameter adjustment as well. And it's all right at your fingertips. And of course, for a clean and easy setup, this bike comes with dual wireless controllers for Bluetooth connectivity. And this obviously keeps your handlebars clean and free of any cables. And as an added bonus, you get USB support and you can charge your phone as you're riding. So where can DJI go from here? With the Amflow PL, DJI just may revolutionize the EMTB market. If you think back to DJI's first drones when they first came out, they were leading edge at the time, but their tech was very basic. They were nowhere near the level they are now. And that's happened in such a short span of time. And although this EMTB or electric mountain bike, if you wanna ride it that way, is not the first of its kind, it definitely is just the beginning for DJI in this space. I suspect that DJI will probably become market leaders in the e-bike tech space in the near future. And base model starting price for this e-bike seems to be around the 7,000 euro, which is not cheap, but it's also in line with other full carbon bikes in that sort of price range. All right, that's enough about e-bikes. Let's talk about drones. I've done another video right here about a whole bunch of drones that won't break the bank and they're a hell of a lot of fun to use. And I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.